Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video serves as an introduction to an in-depth discussion I'll be sharing in the coming days about motor units. Back in 1984, while majoring in psychology at Marist College, I first encountered the concept of motor units. These are crucial for enabling communication between your brain and muscles. A motor unit consists of a single nerve cell called a motor neuron and all the muscle fibers it innervates functioning as a team. Picture this as a puppeteer, the motor neuron, controlling the puppets, the muscle fibers. When the puppeteer pulls a string, the puppets move. Similarly, when the motor neuron sends a signal, the connected muscle fibers contract, facilitating movement. This collaboration is essential for actions ranging from lifting a cup, to running a marathon, to sprinting, to lifting weights. It's important to highlight that everyone, absolutely everyone, experiences the loss of motor neurons as part of healthy aging. These losses are irreversible, meaning once you lose them, you can never regenerate them with any intervention such as supplements, diet, sleep, exercise, etc. By the age of 30, everyone begins to lose these motor neurons. By 60, the rate of loss accelerates, and by 75, we retain only about 50% of these motor units. And by 90, 95, we lost about 90%. Many people understand that muscle power, strength, which is dynopenia, and muscle mass, which is sarcopenia, diminish in that order with age. However, what many people don't realize is that the decline in motor units precedes and significantly contributes to these losses. The reduction in motor unit numbers impacts not just muscle health, but the functions of numerous organs throughout the body. You may have seen claims on YouTube about achieving younger biological age by numerous people. However, those expensive tests don't account for the number of motor units remaining, which makes them quite misleading. The truth is, even if you maintain perfect health by age 75, without early and continuous efforts to preserve your motor units, Regardless of your diet, supplements, or general protectors, the inedible and irreversible losses will predispose you to age-related diseases. This is a strong reason why scientists are passionately recommending that health officials find ways to prevent their losses and to help older people cope with the high numbers they have already lost. What's often overlooked is that while you can't recover lost motor units, you can slow their decline with the motor neurons you still have. My upcoming video will delve deeply into this topic, exploring effective strategies to decelerate their losses. Ladies and gentlemen, to me, loss of motor units is going to be a hallmark of aging in the future. The reason why I say this is because they cannot be reversed. Once you lose them, this is the reason why we slow down. If you think, you don't notice it in your 30s, but when you get into your 40s, you start noticing that you're slower. You don't, you don't have the same mobility as you were when you're 20. The objective is, for the younger people that may be watching my video, you have to train to maintain these motor units before you're 30 years old and continue through our life. This is why you must train for the rest of your life so you don't lose these motor units because once you lose them, you can never regain them back. As such, you, these will cause, it's causal, to age-related diseases, frailty, and many other things. This is why, even if you want guys that look good in their 60s and 70s, looking good on the outside, they can't move like a younger person. And this will be their demise. I mean this with all due respect. This is why I train. I've been training these my entire life. Have a great day and see you soon. I'll be posting the video very soon.